if these are the policies and they're not being followed, it would be certainly super important to get that addressed. There's an argument for the constituents to make that, you know, why are you guys violating the policy and allowing this violation to go on? The Fox 13 News investigative team has been telling you about problems within Moab's police department. The chief went on leave in September after two of his officers let Gabby Petito and her boyfriend Brian Laundrie go despite a domestic violence altercation. Fox 13 News investigative reporter Nate Carlisle explains how the chief worked a second job while taking sick time from his first. Fox 13 has been reviewing pay records from Moab Police Chief Brett Edge, but documents the city doesn't have are important too. Edge has never submitted paperwork declaring his outside employment as required by city policy, nor has to work it while he was on leave. Moab paid Edge $192,000 in salary and benefits to be its police chief in 2021. He also has a business as a photographer, with a website selling photo guides and advertising his services. Here's a tweet from Edge on November 8th saying he was doing a photo shoot for an outerwear company that day. Records for that pay period show Moab was paying Edge through his sick time. The city's employee handbook states, employees who have accepted outside employment may not use city paid sick leave to perform work on the outside job. When you have large amounts of money that are going out, it's really important that it's really open, it's transparent, everyone knows where it's going and that the rules are being followed. Maggie Johnston is a Moab resident who last year spoke against a proposed tax increase in the city. We showed her what we found out about EDGE. If these are the policies and they're not being followed, it would be certainly super important to get that addressed. Utah State Parks has hired EDGE's photo business at least six times over the years. Grand County has hired it once. According to public records, it all adds up to about $8,500 in income. But Fox 13 has learned Edge solicited private work even while he was on leave. He sent tweets showing him traveling southern Utah and northern Arizona and promoting his photo guides. Anytime they're not following their own policies, it can have repercussions down the line. April Hollingsworth is a Utah employment law attorney who has no connection to Edge or Moab government. She says not enforcing the outside employment policies for one worker could expose the city to liability if it tries to enforce the policies on someone else. There's an argument for the constituents to make that, you know, why are you guys violating the policy and allowing this violation to go on? Edge declined Fox 13's request for an interview. A Moab spokeswoman said Edge's leave was a personnel matter she couldn't discuss, though she did say Edge will return to work once he has completed a standard fitness review. In the studio, Nate Carlisle, Fox 13 News, Utah.